Morning everybody, welcome back. Thanks for dropping by and looking in on my channel again. Uh, postman's bin. Here we've got a lovely brown box. So welcome back to Johnny's Nightmare. Yeah. Okay, yep, let's uh, have a look in the uh, box of dreams, shall we? Use it. Open all the flaps. Remove all the bubble wrap. Yeah, they look a bit manky than they did on the bloody photos. That one looks alright, I suppose. You hear that fucking racket? Stay off that wood. Okay, looks solid enough. Bit of movement in the rubber. No oh, fucking hell. A load of fucking crap. Yeah, did you see that? What a load of fucking shit. And that one's the same. Yeah. How can you sell stuff like that on eBay and not think you're not going to get it sent back? Oh, I could scream my head off, I really could. They're going straight back to eBay. Okay. So what we're going to do now, what we're going to have to do now is, uh, what we're going to have to do now is use my homemade red rubbers, rubber red rubbers, and uh, see what happens. So let's get the carburetors back on the bike, shall we? How many times have we heard that? Yep, let's get on with it. Okay then, so, sorry about 
video of putting the tank on and everything but uh, I forgot to put the microphone in <laughs> so No, it doesn't work at all. Uh, now we've got dicky wiring as well. So it started. But uh, just let it warm up for a bit. So I just let it warm up to, uh, before I bed it. Sounds like it's trying to store at the moment. Then the car works a little bit. Sounds a bit better. You know what? I don't like it. I can't bring myself to turn the throttle. I'm that scared. Okay there, let's turn the throttle. But we all know what's going to happen, don't we? Right then, <laughs> what can I say? Uh, I did go a bit quiet there guys, I'm sorry about that, but <sighs> I was a bit overcome I think. 
but it just goes to show, doesn't it? Some of you guys think I'm really clever doing a bike up like that, but actually I'm quite stupid. <laughs> because we all know what the problem was all along, don't we? We found it in last week's video, didn't we? But I still wasn't convinced that was the problem, but... Tell me what the problem was then. <laughs> well, just in case you don't really know, I believe the problem was, don't think it was so much though jets in the back, it might have been. It was two, two of them were blocked, definitely. But it was actually those brass pipes, what the needle slides up and down in, when you rev the bike. You can see down that one. You can see how that bell thing is proud. Stick it up, I can't push it down. And uh, this carburetor was the same, but I've managed to take it out. When I very first cleaned those carburetors out nearly two years ago, I undone those two screws from inside the carburetor, from inside the carburetor float bowl, undone them two screws, looked at them, they're pretty clean, they don't, they don't look like they do anything. So I just shoved them back in, tightened them up, and obviously I didn't make sure the things were seating in properly, you know, the two brass things weren't seated in properly, they were sticking proud. So the actual uh, sliders, carburetor slides, were supposed to be there like that, but in reality they were up there like that because those brass jets were sticking up objects, brass slide, whatever they are. So, yes. How stupid can you get? So it just goes to show. Check, double check, treble check, quadruple check. Just check everything over and over again before you put it back together. Otherwise you could end up spending £20 on a CDI unit that you don't need or £30 on ignition coils that you don't need or even, well I didn't need those parts for the carburetors because they were leaking and it's just, may as well change the float needle valves anyway because they're bound to be worn out but uh, How many times have I had those carburetors apart and I've never noticed that before? So I think it was last October when I MOT'd that bike. Just because of those two jets sticking up inside the carburetor body, tunnel, whatever it's called, that's given me all this grief. So I still can't believe it. I just can't believe it. I just don't believe it. You know when you watch the X Factor and somebody comes on and they can really, really sing and it makes you go all funny inside and your head starts tingling listening to their voice and you get goosebumps and That's how I feel now. And it won't go away. But still, proof is in the pudding, isn't it? We've got to go and take it for a ride first, so that'll be the next thing. We'll take it for a ride and uh, got to get it all back together first. Got to sort all the wiring out, tape it all back up, put all the side panels back on it. It's all right, I'm looking at it, it's out there. And then I could take it for its first ride. There's still a few more things I want to do to it. I want to cover the seat. I want to put the master cylinder on the front brake. Master cylinder on the front brake. No, that doesn't sound right, does it? 
still want to put the front brake master cylinder on, the new one. And uh, there's lots of touching up I've got to do now because of all the petrol spillage on all the ports. So there might be some more videos on it after the final ride. Final ride. The first ride. Final ride. I'm not going to sell it yet. I need it. I need it for my transport. So, bit of a special video at the moment, I think. So I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Hope you all got goosebumps like I did. And uh, please like, share, comment, subscribe, and see you on the final ride. Not the final ride. I'll see you on the first, not the first ride. I'll see you on the first ride. God, it's all right. My brain's all over the place. See you guys. Oh yes, and I almost did forget. Uh, next week, which will be... As you know, I'm like a video a week in front, if you know what I mean. Because I like to keep my videos a week in front in case anything pops up and I've still got time to make another video so YouTubers don't lose out on my videos <laughs> you know what I mean so anyway on the 14th of July I'm going to I'm going on holiday for a week so it'll be the 13th to the 20th I'll be on holiday but I'm pretty sure there'll be a video up for that week but I'm just telling you because if you comment, I probably won't get back to you. And it's not that I'm ignoring you, it's just uh, I'm on holiday in the mountains where there's no internet. So, uh, not gonna comment now, are you? So, just letting you know that, so thank you very much.
see you in another life, brother.